Let's talk about unemployment tax, federal unemployment tax act, state unemployment tax act. I usually say FUTA and SUTA, FUTA and SUTA for short. These are taxes that are paid by the employer on behalf of the employee. It's really an insurance policy that's mandated by the government. When somebody is laid off or disabled, their unemployment insurance is covered by these payments by the employer. Now, the federal unemployment tax is always 0.8%. 0.8% is always the federal amount as long as somebody participates in a state program, and pretty much everybody does. Now, the state program, the amount is going to vary depending on the employer. In other words, when we pay auto insurance, what do we expect to happen when our uh, car gets in a wreck? We expect our premium to go up, don't we? Well, the same thing's true here. If we are an employer that's always laying off our employees, and they're always walking down to the office and drawing a check, we're costing this program a lot more money than an employer that never lays off his employees. So, this rate will vary. And if someone has a good record of employment with their employees, they might get a lower rate. So, these will both be stated in the problem. Let's say the state rate in this case is 5.7%. Now, the employer only has to pay this on the first 7,000 of earnings per employee per year. Now, from an employer's standpoint, we talked about Social Security. This is the way the employer looks at Social Security, too. The employer says, I have to pay 6.2% on the first $87,900 per employee per year, because the employer's matching every one of those. So, FUTA and SUTA are the same, and they both have a base, an upper limit, a maximum of 7,000 per employee per year. So in this example, let's say we have two employees, employee A and employee B, and one of them makes $400 a week, one of them makes $700 a week, and the question would be, for the first quarter, which is 13 weeks, how much would we as the employer have to send in to the feds and to the state government to cover these two employees federal unemployment tax and their state unemployment tax. Well, here's how we do it. First of all, let's see how much this person makes in 13 weeks. 400 times 13 would be how much? That'd be $5,200, wouldn't it? And 700 times 13, $9,100. Okay. Now, remember, we take this on a case-by-case -case basis for every employee we're going to have to pay on the first 7000 This person only made $5,200. they are going to have to pay on all of that, aren't they? Or we're going to have to pay on all of that as the employer. But this person's already over the ceiling on the first quarter when we have to send in that check. Doesn't matter how far over they are, we're only going to pay on the first $7,000. Okay. So we're paying on the first 7000 for each employee. And if somebody's over, we just mark through it and say we're only paying on 7000 Now let's add those two together. We're going to pay on 5200 plus 7000 So that would be $12,200 that we're going to be paying these taxes on. Now we simply take this number, multiply it, times 0.8 percent. Remember that's a tiny, that's less than 1 percent. 1 percent would be $122, so we should come up with something less than $122. $97.60, does that sound right? So that would be our federal unemployment tax for the first quarter. We'd send that check in for the first quarter. Now we take that exact same number and we multiply it times this percentage and that's how much we send to the state. 
Now that's going to be a lot more than that, isn't it? It's going to be about seven times as much. So let's take 122,000, I'm sorry, 12,200 and multiply it times 5.7%. That should be around $700, not $70, not $7,000. There'd only be one spot we could put the decimal. What'd you get on that one? Can you say the digits real loud? Point four, okay. To the nearest. Uh, oh, that's how. Yeah, six ninety-five forty. Does that look right to everybody? All right. So that's how much we would send in to the state, and that would be those would be the two answers to the original question. How much is the first quarter's FUDA and SUDA that the employer has to send in? Now, just to make sure we understand, let's pretend they also ask what would the second quarter taxes be, okay? This is quarter one, let's say quarter two. Well, in quarter two, this person's going to make another 5,200, aren't they? And this person's going to make another 9,100. But we've already paid on this employee B, haven't we? So we're done with them for the year. We're never going to have to pay any more on them for this fiscal year. Now this one, again, what's the ceiling? It's 7,000. How much have we already paid on employee A? We've paid on the first 5,200, haven't we? So the question is not how far over did they go, but how much do we have left to pay on? So we take the difference between the ceiling and how much we've already paid, and that would be $1,800 that we still have to pay tax on for this person. So since this person made over that, it doesn't matter how far over they went, we're only going to pay on the next $1,800, and then they're finished for the year, or we're finished paying for that employee. So the second quarter, we're only going to pay on $1,800, aren't we? And we're going to multiply that times 0.08% and times 5.7%. Notice, what do we get when we add these two figures together? We get 14,000, which is 7,000 per employee per year. We, we maxed out on both of them. So how much are we going to have to pay for these two employees in the third quarter? Zero. That's right. We've finished with both of them. Now we have other employees, and if they make a lot less than that, we have to pay on the first 7,000. Or if we hire somebody in the middle of the year, we're going to have to pay on their first 7,000. 